Peggy 16. Guardians in Destiny are really powerful. You put us up against anything on two legs and we can take it down on our own. But how do you stop a spaceship? The Red Legion has boarded the Almighty. They're blowing up all the controls and they're setting it on a collision course for the last city. Rasputin stands with the Guardians, but what's he gonna do when an impending threat comes? Is he willing to like really put it up on the line for humanity? Is he willing to step up when we need him? It's really important that we're continuing to tell the story of what's happening in the world. So we had a cabal threat for season nine where they were trying to change the outcome of the Red War. They failed. They've got one last desperate play. And it's up to us with Rasputin's help to stop them. You'll go into one of the public spaces on EDZ and all of a sudden there's something there that wasn't there before. Rasputin had all of these hidden bunkers that have been around since the Golden Age that we didn't know about. You need to help clear out the enemies that have infested those bunkers so that he can get to work. And then you go into the world where you're helping him build up his arsenal. The new seasonal activity is Seraph Tower, which is about powering up Rasputin and setting up its orbital defense network. Also, Rasputin sends you into these legendary lost sectors to reclaim items of his that have been stolen. By building up Rasputin's super weapon, he's going to help you by giving you power. You're going to be able to find armor and weapons from Rasputin's lost guardians of the war mine. Connection locked. Good to see you, Guardian. We want every season to be a mix of content for players, mm -hmm. stuff that you really want to have to be there for that's a moment in time. When they come, we will stand together as equals. But we also want to add permanent additions to the game. We're bringing back Trials in Season of the Worthy, but it's going to stick around. It's like an anchor point yeah. for us. Trials is our returning end game PvP ritual. So we internally talk about Trials being the raids of PvP but the most difficult bosses in Trials are other players using every advantage they have to get access to weapons and armor that can't get any other way. This season, the Artifact mods focus on close-range weapons, so SMGs and sidearms are all gonna get a lot of screen time. Swords are a lot more potent. There's a lot more flexibility with them. We've layered on a new difficulty to the Nightfall ordeal. The goal was to create an experience that's hard even for our hardcore. We have a bunch of quality of life changes coming for armor. The biggest one is that you can now change your armor's elemental affinities. The seasonal mod slot can hold the mods from the season in which it's released, plus the mods from the previous season and the next season as well. We have increased the number of armor sets that are in the whirlpool. We've got some cool new weapons. Tommy's uh, matchbook. Tommy's matchbook is all about being a wild gangster, jumping in and spraying bullets haphazardly at your own risk. And the best part is, every time you get a kill, you get to say, keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> We always want to focus with seasons on creating that evolving world and creating impactful moments. We have our own plans for where we're taking the story and where we want to take Destiny. We also are always listening to our players and what they want. And your actions, the actions of other characters that you care about, they matter and change the world. And you're going to want to be there and see that happen. The thing that I'm most excited about is really paying off this Rasputin story. We have a lot of open threads throughout Destiny's history, and we want to tie up some of the loose ends that we've left behind, and Season of the Worthy is another step forward in the overall story of Destiny.